What's up? It's your boy Smalls and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to turn this on your iPad in Adobe Illustrator only, no computer needed, into this. Stay tuned. All right, now that we're on the iPad, we're going to open up Adobe Illustrator and create a new project. You can choose anything here because you can always upscale it inside the Glowforge. Next, we're going to add some text. So first, we're going to do happy. And then after that, we're going to put birthday. The reason why I don't keep these together, um, because you can easily just keep it together and um, do it this way. But I like to separate it so that way I can manipulate the letters a little bit easier this way. So after I typed in a happy, I put in a birthday, you size it to as you know big as you want. And then after that, you have to change the font to whatever font you desire. Now, when it comes to cake toppers or anything like that, you kind of want a script text so that way everything connects together. And as you can see, the H and the B are not connected. The first thing you want to do is you want to turn on the stroke and then turn off the fill. So that way you just have an outline here. So as you can see, the H is not attached to the A, but all the other letters are attached. You're going to do the same thing with birthday and you're going to turn off the fill and now you have it. So everything is just outlined. Next, we're going to move the H so that is touching the A. And how you want to do that is you want to go to the right side and there's this little T that's outlined and you're going to press that and then you're going to click on outline text. Now each text is individually outlined. You can actually go in here and mess with it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move the H over so that it's touching the A. But with this outline, it allows you to manipulate the shape of the each letter. So that way you can open up some areas or close some areas. If you think an area is too thin, you can make it fatter and you can just play around. Um, we're going to do the same thing with the B in birthday and make sure that everything's touching. Now we're going to adjust the size of the happy because I don't want it to be the same size. So we're going to make it just a little bit smaller. I'm not really trying to be precise here. Um, I'm just trying to make a tutorial video. So this is probably not the actual size that I would do it, but I just wanted to give an example. But for rule of thumb, you want to make sure that at least two areas on the text are touching the other one. So yeah, we just adjust it to make sure that they're touching in both areas. Next, we're going to make the stick. What you're going to do is you're going to go over to the square tool and make a rectangle shape. Then you click on the square again and you're going to see that you can click triangle. Click the triangle tool, turn the triangle upside down, and then you're going to move the triangle over to the square. Make sure it snaps to each other. You see it snapped in the middle. And then you move the sides in from the triangle to meet the sides of the rectangle. And you just adjust it a little bit, however you want it, how pointy you want it. I just made it that way. Then you click on both of them, which how you do that is you hold the little circle on the bottom left. You click the triangle, you click the square. Then you go to the combine shape setting and you press combine all and then convert to path to bring everything together so that there is no line. You move that up to your project to see where you want to put it. I put it right here within the H. I think that's, you know, kind of the middle. And then you're going to have to make sure that all these lines that are inside of each other are gone. So how you do that is you highlight everything and then you go into combine all and then convert to back path. And now you see that all the lines are deleted inside. Beautiful. Now, the only thing you have to do is the eye is not attached. So either you can delete it or if you want to, you can make it touch either the H or you could bring it down to the B and kind of make it a touch the B. And then you're going to have to combine all of this together again. So that way the I is included and then convert to path one more time. And now you have your cake topper It's finished. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to have to save it as an SVG file. So you go to publish export as you're going to change the format to SVG and then you type in whatever name you want for it. Then you click export and right now I'm going to save it to files in my folder Glowforge and then we're going to go over to the Glowforge. So for this project, I'm actually only going to use 
cardboard because it's not an actual project that I actually want to create. And I like to use cardboard first anyway, so that way I can see there is any imperfections in the work. So now you're going to go to app.glowforge.com on your iPad and you're going to open a file and you're going to choose the file that you saved. And when that opens up, you resize it to however big or small you want it and then make sure your material is uh, checked out correctly. I use the cardboard setting. And then we're going to press print. Give it a little second to scan and do its thing. Determine how long the project is going to take. I'm going to go over to the Glowforge and press the button and then watch it do its thing. So as you can see, this is very, very easy. You're going from iPad to Glowforge in less than 10 minutes. And with the cut and everything, it's going to be anywhere between, uh, I guess it depends on what material you use, but I wouldn't say it's going to be any longer than 30 minutes um, for you to do this whole thing. And it's very, very good to know how to do it just in case you need a cake tubber in a, you know, in a jiffy. So here's the finished product. As you can see, it's cardboard. So obviously it's, it's going to look a little weird and you can tell with the, the B and the I and the R that's kind of a little floppy. Um, so I would, you know, probably fix that. But I think if it was a different material, it wouldn't even really be like that. It would be a little bit more uh, secure. Thank you so much for watching. As you can see, this is very, very easy. It would take you 10 minutes tops once you figure out how to do everything. And you can not only just do happy birthday, you can do happy anniversary. You can do a person's name. You can do one for weddings. The possibilities is unlimited when it comes to it. I was trying to find a way to edit on my iPad and shoot it straight to the Glowforge without having to go to my computer every time. So sometimes I just wanted to do things really quickly and, and eliminate all the extra steps in between. So that's um, the way that I do it. You might do it differently. You might know a faster way to do it. And if that's the case, don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know your little tips and tricks that you have to ensure that you get good, cu good cuts and good prints and all that stuff with uh, the iPad and the programs that you can use on the iPad. Because I wanna do most, mostly everything on the iPad, I wanna design everything, I've been trying to figure out different ways to make that easier for myself. So if you like the video, please, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and tune into my next Glowforge video coming at you soon.